Welcome everybody, Don Chinetti from Lighting-Essentials.com and Project52ProSystem.com. We're getting ready to enroll our Spring 2022 class for Project52ProSystem.com. There's a link down below. If you've thought about being a commercial photographer and you'd like to look into it, we cover everything from product to food, tabletop, still life, just editorial, adver advertising, everything. If you're at all interested, check it out over at the link provided below. I only take a few students, 12 students per half year. Uh, the class runs for a full year, and you just learn about everything there is to know. You should be ready to go well before the end of the class. Whether it's full-time or part-time or a side hustle, there's so much photography to be done. It can really be an exciting uh, career for sure. There's no age restrictions. A lot of the people in my class who are doing well uh, are not young people, uh, although you can be a young person. These are people, uh, some of them with second careers. So check it out, project52prosystem.com. All right, first up is Arnold Gallardo. Arnold is a, uh, a really good shooter, and uh, these images, I should preface by saying, were from a class that I did uh, uh, I do a three a year. They're free classes, and they're over at uh, lighting-essentials.com. You can find out next year we're doing adult beverages. We start in February. It's free, no credit card, no sign-up, no newsletter, nothing. If you want to be involved, you show up. If you don't, you don't, so it's okay. Uh, this was from the, a recent uh, class, and this assignment was to find stuff that was not glamorous or junk or stuff in the trash or what have you and make a great shot of it. So Arnold found all these hair tie things, hair clips. Um, actually, uh, I believe in, a, in, a, uh, in an old box being thrown away. So he uh, lined them up, used a nice big soft light as, a, as his... his uh, ambient. You can see it here. You can see the soft light right along here. Um, also creating great highlight up on here. And then he's got a hard light coming from back here, scraping right across the face of it on the other side, but depositing these shadows over here. So the shot has a lot of dimension to it, even though it's two pieces of paper, a white piece and a black piece laying there. There's a lot of dimension because Arnold created it with some beautiful lighting and some special lighting to get the, uh, the shadows. And you can see what we're doing here. He's got his ambient set up here and a strobe over here giving him the shadows. This was a previous attempt, but this is the same setup that he used for the other shots. This little card here, catches some of that direct flash, bounces it back, and makes the shadows a little less harsh, and also have a bit of a gradient to them. See, light to dark, everything leads us to that, that center line there. It's a really nice shot by Arnold Gallardo. Our next photographer was looking for some junk and went to the junk drawer and found, I think, what every one of us have in the drawer, and that's old nails and screws and all kinds of things. She lined them up on black plex, lit them from the side, and created a very nice, really interesting photograph. Uh, one softbox on the right side is turned up brighter than the softbox on the left side, so that gives dimension to the highlights. You can see how it was shot right here. Two softboxes on each side and a black background for lots of contrast, a little bit of a uh, plexi reflection that she's controlled really well down here. Probably, if I remember right, this was a couple of weeks ago for sure, uh, I believe she burned this in Photoshop because the reflections were too strong. Uh, so a really, really nice little shot of screws. I mean, you know, that's the thing I love so much about tabletop photography is you're not limited to just shooting in the daytime. You can shoot anytime. So a really pretty shot. Amy Roth is a photographer in uh, New Jersey and a working photographer. She found this stuff in the garbage, 
pulled it out and made a still life of it. A lovely still life of it as well. You can see everything in here really, really pretty. An old leaf she found, some, uh, uh, what are these called, uh, pomegranates that were being thrown out, this dried up uh, gourd, this gourd, and some berries from a tree, I believe. And she lit them with a, an umbrella uh, for, for the ambient umbrella lighting it and then a very smaller side light with a cookie on it throwing light on the on the items themselves it's got a cookie you go back and look at the at the shot you're gonna see it plays with the light a little bit in here uh, but it's very striking nice hard light right on the on the melon right in here right on the pomegranates got a nice hard light coming back here but the fill the ambient is that she's creating with the umbrella is keeping it from looking so heavily flash lit. The ambient is making sure all the light back here gets done. She's also, as you can see, she's also added a bit of a spray light back here to give a gradient going up to the corner up there. Brighter on the right, darker on the left. The left is where the light's coming from. The shadow side is against the lit part of the background. Let's take a look at that shot again. It's pretty cool. Here's her umbrella over here, putting a nice soft light on that gray background. Nicely done shot by Amy Roth. Jan Wilding found, Wilding found a bunch of things that were going to be tossed and laid them out in a great little still life, kind of a uh, old master's kind of still life. Notice the beautiful little bit of a, a vignette here that brings our eyes all into it. The lighting is very nice. Big soft light from this side. Look at it lighting up this whatever that is, Chris Seashell thing or whatever, giving us real direction. But a secondary source over here, a fill card. Uh, we'll see what, what it is in a minute. I think it's a, um, a card with a light on it. Uh, but just a card over here to keep these books and to keep that yarn from, from just fading in. In fact, giving a little bit of a warmer, brighter side to this yarn than this. And that really makes our eyes dance and, and creates a much more interesting still life. And that's how she did it. I believe this is her big softbox. She's got a, a, uh, a diffuser in front of the uh, Octobox. I'm sorry. In front of the Octobox diffusing. And then there's a card over here. Do you see this white card? There's a strobe bouncing into that white card. To do the fill on this side of the books down there you can see where those are and you can see how this light does the main light coming in from this direction on the on the vase it's the main light on these guys it's the main light um, over here everything goes into the shadow but we do have a little bit of a kicker there to keep some directionality going to that shadow that side uh, that's Jan Wilding and I have Patricia Keegan shot, uh, I, I explicitly said, if you can go into the garbage, go into the garbage, pull something out of the garbage, out of your, your garbage, your refrigerator. Well, these avocados have seen better days. Uh, and Jan pulled them out, put them on a slightly reflective surface, and ended up with a stunning still life. Look at the textures. The textures are amazing. Now, the, the rotting fruit is dried up and pulling apart, but the shine on the seeds is amazing. Uh, this is a beautiful light uh, light uh, uh, variation that she uses called dark field lighting. And that's, she's got them here. She's got, uh, I believe it's an LED back behind the panel. And then she put a black panel to keep the light off of uh, flaring back into the lens. So the light is coming around both sides of this thing. There is a white card up here uh, that's not showing in the picture, but let's look back at the picture and see how it's done again. Isn't that beautiful? You see the white up on the top there? That is because this part of the background is coming across over the top, and that's what these avocados are seeing, is this white area up here, the ceiling and the back of the set there, and the sides are giving us the the size of the light are giving us the edges on the 
avocados coming around the edge here and probably there. But it's a beautiful shot and it's just, uh, you know, stuff in the garbage. So once again, this is uh, Patricia Keegan's beautiful photograph. John Wilding's beautiful photograph of found objects. Same with Amy Roth, garbage and found objects. Anna Marie McCullough and Arnold Gallardo. Thanks a lot. I hope you learned a little bit of something and try doing some uh, still life of stuff you find around the house. Everyone have a good one. We'll see you next time.